I'm out today to test out the stability of my new Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL. You can see that the PDL drive is not in right now. Instead, I have a floor insert in just to plug up that hole for now so that I have a little bit more room to move around and really test out the stability of this boat. I always test out the stability of every new kayak that I get. It's nice to do it on your terms instead of having it happen on accident and then panicking because you've never done it before and don't know what to do. An important thing to mention is that sit on top kayaks tend to dump you off before they would actually flip over. So you may get dumped into the water, but your boat will just fall back and be right side up. So let's see if I was reaching in the water here. Okay, I'm reaching past my elbow. At this point, I have to lean a lot of my torso over the water, which is definitely making it less stable. If you really had to reach down far, you'd want to sit down on the floor to get your weight as far down as possible, and then you'd be able to reach down even farther. As you can see, you can reach down pretty far. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to try standing on the back of the boat. Let's say I need to go get my rudder down. I can either do this and free it up, or I would bet that I could just walk back there. There we go, and I freed up the rudder. From a seated position, it'd be extremely difficult. I mean, I pretty much have to roll myself off of this chair in order to get in the water. The boat is not letting me tip very far at all. Even though all my weight right now is on my right hip, this thing is hardly moving at all from where it was before. So from a seated position, it would be extremely difficult to tip this thing over. If you were all the way like this, which you never would be when you're just out fishing or something, and then you got hit by a big wave from behind, maybe that would tip you off. But otherwise, it's extremely stable and really there's no need to worry about falling off of a boat like this when you're in a seated position. If you're standing, you're going to be a little bit less stable because your weight is so much higher above the boat. And right now, most of my weight is in this chair and the center of gravity is pretty low. If I get in a standing position and much of my weight is up high, then it's going to make my boat tip easier and it's going to be less stable. But on this boat, that really still isn't a concern. I'm going to back up just a little bit so you can see me. So standing up here, not difficult at all. If I were to get bounced around a little bit by some waves, still very, very, very stable. Now keep in mind that today's conditions are pretty much optimal. It's very calm out here. There's very little waves. There's no boats flying past me. The air conditions are pretty warm. Water temperature is somewhat warm still. And basically if I fell in the water, it wouldn't be a big deal. So let's see if I were to need to get a lure out of a tree. Say I'm right over here. I got my lure way up here, about 12 feet above my boat. I'm going to use my arms and I'm going to use my paddle. And I'm going to reach up there. See, I'm really trying to jab my lure out of the tree. Easy to do. Now let's see if I can walk from the back tip of the boat all the way to the front of the boat. important to notice, whenever I'm doing this, I am keeping the center of my weight above the center of the boat. If you move your weight to one side, then of course it's going to be more likely to rock. So you always want to keep as much of the weight as possible from you and your gear along the center line of the boat. And as long as you do that, it'll keep the boat the most stable, regardless of what kind of kayak you're dealing with or a rowboat or a canoe or a motorboat. It's the same idea. If you're walking along the side, it's going to rock at one side. If you're standing in the center, it's going to keep it very balanced. So let's just stand on this front like a diving board. Okay, there you go. I am all the way on the front of the boat. I can even rock it back and forth. 
I can even jump up and down a few times. how stable this is. I'm able to jump up and down on the very front edge of this boat and it's no problem at all. Now I'm going to try standing on the side rail of the boat and I can imagine that's probably where it's going to push it to its limit and it's going to fall over. But let's just see. That's pretty amazing that it's not flipping over. That was my fault. <laughs> okay, so with a sit on top kayak like this, it's really easy to get back in from really anywhere. You can either climb over the front, climb over the back, or with something this stable, you could actually just climb right over the side. I'm gonna get on the front, because that's easy. So I'm just gonna push this down, and I'm gonna basically sit on it, and then push my way in back into the boat. There we go. I can put all of my weight right on the outside and it still won't flip this thing. If this was helpful for you, please help us out by subscribing to our channel for more videos about kayaking, kayak fishing, and joining me and my daughter Natalie as she learns more about how to fish and target new species. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the water.